Hi everyone, this is Ginger. I'm here to do a quick video share before I pack everything up. I'm in a one-on-one -on -one swap hosted, um, it's called the Altered Egg Carton Swap. It's hosted by um, Betty on Crafters with Artitude and my partner <coughs> is a, another local girl who lives on the same island as me in Hawaii and so we are partners for this swap and um, I wanted to do a quick share before I pack everything up. We're going to meet next week and exchange our swaps. So by the time you see this video, um, we we had already met and exchanged. And so this is my um, a carton. And it was a little bit um, challenging because, you know, um, I ruined two a cartons. First I painted it all white, thinking that I would do some pink in it. And then I uh, ruined another one. I, don't, I forgot what I did. And so I ended up with this one where I just just sold the egg carton. And this egg carton is, I believe, um, I got this egg carton from Hobby Lobby or Michael's or Joanne's. One of those when I went on my recent mainland trip. And I brought it back home. I hand carried it. <laughs> and so I'm so glad I got to um, do a swap involving the egg cartons. And so we, I know Linda, my partner is Linda, who's um, Elle Fundu on here on YouTube. Um, she um, loves shabby and pinks and all those pastel colors. So I went through a lot of cartons trying to decorate. I didn't want it to make it so overly lacy or flowery. So um, I kind of just did this. So let's get into my swap. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm sporting a cold that I caught from my son, and now my husband's sick, <clears throat> and now I'm sick, but, okay. So I went around with this lace trim, and there is a lace trim under here, um, and here is a netting, a pink one, and in the middle, I cut apart this other flower lace that I had, and so I glued it all over the sides, and you can see I already just sewed, um, the netting and the flowers. You can kind of see some of the gesso on it. Um, on here, on the top here, I did a um, two back two background papers. So I have a paper under here, and I have another paper over it. And you can't really see the um, design, but I gessoed it. And then I kind of I I saw some others who you know did it like a loaded envelope where they sliced it and kind of curled it. I I um, filed down the edges to make it rough looking and then on here I kept the flowers the spray very minimal this is one spray right here with the greenery I added some other flowers and I had this in my stash and my flowers are all mixed up so I'm not too sure where I got them from I bought a lot some I bought some D stashes and some were gifts from racks and things like that so I could just have it in a container and so I just pick out of it and I have these this butterfly. It came on a roll. No, no, I'm sorry. I think I bought a D stash. So all of these butterflies are all separate. And so I glued them underneath. Here are some um, lace leaves that I also got in a D stash. And so I put everything down and I just sewed it. And here's some per pearl bling sticking out. And so this is what it looked like. And I went with my stickles and I glittered it all up. Okay, so that's my top. And then when you open it, so inside, I kind of redid it um, several times. I had a band going around in the inside of the cover, and I tucked in some lace, but then it became very bulky, and it couldn't close very well. And there's not too much things that you can stuff in here. It's pretty compact. And so the cover, I figure I just decorated in case you wanted to display it or look at it you know I just put some flowers in here on this end some little flowers up here with some I think some of these are prima flowers and I just got a birdie on a Tim Holtz um, ephemera pack and a butterfly here from the Tim, same Tim Holtz um, ephemera pack and I just sewed it and I didn't really want to cover up this background paper that I found with butterflies and the theme is spring and so I just wanted to keep in the butterfly and the uh, flowers 
and shabbiness so that's kind of how I left it so in here I have some bling in each of these six pockets I was gonna put them in glittery eggs but mm, it didn't really work out too well and then it looked too Eastery so I just filled the pockets with some of these things and so in the first pocket I have these little bows and I bought them in a um, Ally Express on a website and then these are all different um, paper clips some gold ones all different designs and styles and then in this middle one I have all of these lace pieces so here's the butterfly lace that I I think I either bought it on the I think I bought a D stash of them so they're all individually cut already and they're very pretty and dainty so I gave her some of that I gave her some um, ribbons, just their bows, lace bows and then here is a flower and here are some corner laces and this came on a spool so I cut some out of these doily circles and then this one I have some sequin sequin ribbons that I got from Ally Express so just in different colors and this one I just have a spray of flowers and I think I'm not too sure I think these are wild orchid craft flowers and this one is all different kinds of bling in here I have some of these sequins and bling strips here and I have some kind of acrylic flowers or plastic flowers that you could use as embellishments and there's also some butterfly blings okay. and in this last pocket here I have some just some stickers, some flowers, and these are postage stamps. So it kind of looks springy yet shabby. And here are some gold butterflies. Sorry for the glare. And just some more flowers. And then in each of the egg carton, um, I have some lace in here. So these are some lace flowers. Okay, so I just put them in each of these to kind of line the cups and then she can use these later or keep them in there. So that's kind of my egg carton. So I kind of gessoed it all around. Really made it shabby looking. And here's the bottom. So it just goes, I just did it all around. Okay, so that's my egg carton. And then because I couldn't fit a lot of things in here, I kind of um, did put a lot of things, well I made a whole bunch of things I guess on the side, okay, let me move all of this up here and I'll put them in later, I'll put them back later. But I want to show you the other things, I'm, I'm going to put together a box, so I found this box and it's really pretty. You see, it has roses on them. It's like a file box. So it has a plate here. And so the cover, it just says, Life is Beautiful. So I'm going to try to fit everything in here as much as I can. So I have some goodies in here. Um, these are handmade. So I made this these envelopes. And I bought a lot of digital art. And some of the places that I bought them from was um, Louisa from KSP by Louisa sells a lot of her digital kits. And I bought, um, I think I have so far, all of them that she released in the past year. Some are re-released and some are new. So I'm not too sure which ones they're from. I, I use it throughout my project here. I also bought um, some uh, digitals from, um, I think it's called... Ira Lamiji shop on it's an Etsy shop and I also bought some downloadables from that shop and I think these envelopes were from the Ira 
Lamiji shop. So I just use some thickers to spell out her name and my letter is in here. So just some little something about me. And then it came with uh, five envelopes. So I cut them all out and I put them together. And I inked all the edges to make it kind of vintagey looking. This is the other one. So she can use them to make cards or however she wants to fill them. Um, the other thing I handmade was this bag using my gift card. I'm mean, sorry, my gift bag. Uh, I guess it's like a punch board, but it's to make gift bags. And so this paper is from Tuesday morning. So and I just she can she'll probably do a video and share with you what I did. It's just some goodies that she could use. Okay, and then this tray here. I have some other handmade goodies. Um, these are a lot of laces and things that I found on and ribbons that I found on my recent trip that I bought. This is the flower ribbon that um, I'm gifting her. That, I'm sorry that I used on my egg carton around the edges. Okay, and I wanted to show you these, and it's just um, spools like ribbon spools, and so. What these are, I found a downloadable um, digiprint, and I think it's from Iowa Lam Lamiji shop as well. And so I printed them, and then I scanned them through my brother's scan and cut, and it cut out these um, ribbon holders. And then I just kept the image, and it, I cut out a background paper, so it's two-sided. And so this is what, so I'm just sharing with you. I'm just giving her some ribbon samples and things that I found on my recent trip. This is another one. This is a really fluffy lace. Okay, and then um, I also had these bookmarks. And so, I'm sorry, a tags. And so I cut them out, I inked the edges, and I put a, um, those, oh, can't remember what they are, but you squeeze them and you know they fill out the eyelet. It's eyelets, I guess. And I put some ribbon on the top, and these are some um, butterflies that I made. And I just put some bling in the middle. And then these two, I think this one is from Louisa's um, paper, the bows. And so I just made the bows. I cut them out and I. Um, ink the edges and I put pearls in the middle and I just put it on this tag <clears throat> and then so those three and then these I also printed out the mason jars I printed out so I kind of, it's kind of two sided I glued them together and these roses I'm gifting Linda and she can use them however she wants to but I thought they were really springy looking but I made these roses uh, about a year ago so I made a whole bunch and so I'll gift her some of these to use and they're all double sided and this last um, set of crepe paper flowers I saw a re recent video that Lolly Palooza made it's called crepe paper flower tutorial and so this is all crepe paper and I made flowers and I put some bling in the center so you can check out her video and she teaches you how to make these flowers and um, this one, it's not really handmade. I just kind of glued the butterfly here on here. And these flower sprays are from a local craft store that I went to, um, Floridette. And so I bought some flowers from there. And this is just from the Target Dollar Spot, this little tulip um, pocket. Okay, so that's my share. Um, I might add a few more things because um, there's still a little bit more time but um, I'll see what else that I can make. We're meeting for lunch and we'll do our swap. So anyways I thank you very much for watching my video and I thank you for subscribing and I will see you all later. Bye! Linda I hope you love all your things. Okay bye!